thousand followers, and I don't got no blue check or nothing like that, so they don't give a damn about my shit. So when I try to spread the word on stuff, and when it's free, we got free prime justice because people need it. You know what I'm saying? In the, in the world, the world portrays like like when it's free. Oh, we don't have nothing. Or we're broke, or and in the, world, in the world just needs to understand like free is cool. You know what I'm saying? When I grew up and people was giving me something for free, I took it. You know what I mean? Not because I didn't have the money to take it, because shit, I didn't need to spend no money for it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna save my money and it's free. And it was free and we had some dope ass dresses. We had a lot of sponsors give out dresses. And it was amazing, man. Well, I mean, um, you know, you know, we had our guy Eric Seals uh for, for, for the free press came and shot it for them, man. And that, that that's I'm telling you, man, my heart glows on stuff like that, man. I just I, I stay out I stay out the light, but the stuff that needs to be shed light on, I just try to shed light on it as much as I can, man. And, and that's something like that. It, it was so dope. <laughs> Um, I managed to we just tell you this 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 been my guy. Um mm -hmm. it's been the same guy that I met when you know when I first turned pro. Um not, and I, I nothing nothing has changed. I mean like I mean, he will tell you this this is him. Um even back then man, he tried to stop me from training all the kids, you know, he told me focus on this, focus on that. But I always told him, man, look, man, this is my heart is, you know what I mean? Either you gonna accept, either accept it or you don't. You know what I'm mean? saying? So me and man kinda of clashed a lot because he didn't he didn't he didn't. Uh, he didn't want me to do as much as I was doing outside the gym. He didn't want me to focus on boxing, but you know, um, I think uh, as a fighter, man, a fighter, a, fight, a, a fighter's mentality, a fighter's, uh, a fighter's struggle, man, is, is the fact that we get no time to do other things. You know, what I mean? everybody thinks that fighting is. Fighting is the toughest sport in the world. You know what I mean? It's a lot of sacrifice that come with it. So, you know what I mean? I go crazy. Like, fighting is like being in prison or being in jail, man. Like, you'll go crazy if you don't do something you would love to do. You know what I mean? So, every day I just take the time to do something that I love to do. To take my mind off the physical and the mental uh, uh, focus that I am in, 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 in the string that I'm putting myself through. So, I do something that I love to do, man. You know, it's good. You know, can't not break. One thing that you can't afford why did you go back to the kids? Uh, because, you know, um, going, going up, man, I, I had a lot of guys that I looked up to. You know what I mean? And if I didn't have those guys that I looked up to and those guys that motivated me, and they had nothing to do with money, but those guys that motivated me and put me in the right positions and, and believed in me, uh, in my talent, you know what I mean? There was a lot of coaches that believed in me to be a, to be a football player. You know what I'm saying? But it always pushed me. Uh, uh, further to, to be something. I wanted to be something. Just be something. You know what I'm saying? Like, like in the end, and, and from from little to big. You know, my my dad and all the coaches around me. I want always push me to, to 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 work hard. You know what I'm saying? So I was I was grinding since a kid. You know, for went for free. You know, what I'm saying? so it's not about money. All everything we're doing right now is not about money. I do it for free. I do it free because I love to grind. I love to sacrifice. I love I love to sweat shit. I love and I love to do some shit that nobody else would do because they are afraid to do it or, or they're afraid to fail at it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just love to grind. I love to sweat and and, and I show the kids every single day. You know, what I'm, I'm not one of those coaches that's big and, and out of shape. You know, I'm gonna show them kids like, look, this is what it takes. And guess what? I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna run with you. You know, I'm not just gonna send you on a on a five mile run and say, oh, this is benefit you. I'm going to run with you because I'm going to show you that it's benefiting me too. You know what I mean? So I'm one of those influential coaches that's going to get out there and I'm going to work with you. I'm going to grind with you. You know what I mean? Some of, them, some of my guys, I got to spark. Because they get the big head. Like I got a 6 and 17 year old that had to spark. I had to fuck him up. But I, but I had to show him. You know what I mean? I had to show him like, look, it's levels. You know I mean? I'm teaching you. I'm molding you. You know what I'm saying? But don't, but don't slow down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes that's what you got to do. Sometimes that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? My brother slowed me down a lot. Uh, he beat me up uh, without a lot, but, you know, he was just physically bigger than me. So sometimes he won, sometimes I won. But, you know, it's just a humbling experience when somebody around you, close you that you love, can kind of shit on you. And it can be love. It's, it's love when that shit on you. you know? uh, it's, it's, just, it's just love. He shit on me, but it's love. You know what I mean? Trying, the next person gonna kill me because that ain't love. You know what I mean? I'm gonna shit on you because I love you, and you gonna get you gonna get through this, and it's gonna it's gonna make you tough as a man.